everybody it's cookie time yes maybe you've seen me um, on Instagram the last days I showed you all my cookies um, I had one week off and um, I stood in my kitchen and baked 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 a lot of cookies um, I do it like my mom she bakes um, I think 26 um, kind of uh, cookies I had only um, big eight and for this I want to create today a little bag. I do it every year that I give some bags to my friends and colleagues and I think everybody loves my cookies. So this year I created with my silhouette kind of um, star banner um, for the bag and um, this is craft paper I got on um, very cheap, I don't know from where, and um, I have it a lot of years now, and um, it's perfect for my silhouette. And I use these um, stamp sets from Create a Smile. This is German, this means time for cookies, or from a secret chair gnome, <laughs> but I didn't use this one, I only use time for cookies. And of course, we need somebody who is eating these cookies. And I decided to use the my favorite snowman. In this set you have three snowmen, but this one I use as my favorite. And a little fox. And also I use this one. This is an acrylic block. It's new on Create a Smile. And um, this is the smallest one. I think um, there are four sizes available. And I love to have a lot of um, little, little, little tiny acrylic blocks. And so now I have one more. <laughs> And he's very great and it's very um, low weight and I love it. So I stamped my foxes and my snowman with um, Memento Black ink because I want to use my Copics as you can see now. And also you can see I um, listed up all my Copic numbers uh, in the left uh, corner, top corner. Um, I do this not so often. But on, in this case, I uh, wrote while coloring all these numbers, so now I can show it to you. As you can see, my fox is a kind of a mixture of red and um, orange. I think with foxes you have so many possibilities, with browns and oranges and Every fox is different um, um, in my case, but today I colored their very similar because I needed to do um, eight critters. <laughs> so I had no time for experiments. So the scarf is blue. Um, maybe I could have taken a lighter blue or um, colorful blue, but I'm a little bit frightened of mixing so much colors and I was frightened if the kind of to grass would match to the craft paper, so I stayed at this um, dark blue, and in the end I did some um, dots with my gel pen. Gel is it right? Okay, you see what I do. So now the foxes are ready, and I tried a uh, snowman in not blue. I have seen on Annie's uh, blog that she's using a kind of um, what is it beige for a snowman and I liked it so much that I wanted to try um, also a color which is no blue and I decided to um, take my uh, take my new BV31. I love this so much and I think it is a very beautiful snowman for me. Um, yes, an orange nose and a gray button and some little Gel pen exits also. Now it's ready. For those who are a little bit frightened to fuzzy cut all this stuff, I have no problem with it. Wanted to show you to fuzzy cut um, eight of these critters. It doesn't take so much time. So I take my um, mobile watch and nine minutes and seven seconds. It's not so bad, I think. So now I want to create our um, color. 
these uh, stars, what color, I don't know the right word for this, um, I wanted to emboss um, it different, so four for the snowmen and four for the foxes, and for the snowmen, of course, we need some snowflakes, and I took again the smiling snowflakes, without any smiling, because I cut the smiling out, but now they are so awesome. As you can see, maybe <laughs> you like it. Um, I um, stamped it with Rosamark and embossed, for embossing I use WOW embossing um, powder in white. Yes, and for the foxes I took these awesome um, floating chevrons, um, one of my favorite backgrounds, and I use it not often enough, I think. And then I did a mistake in um, I thought when I use um, Hebrew Arts um, clear embossing powder, the chevrons getting a little bit darker than the craft paper, but um, in some seconds you see when I um, heated it, heat it up, um, that my plan didn't work. So for the other both stars, I need a new plan. So here is my Hebrew Arts clear embossing powder. And as you can see, it's getting invisible. Woohoo! So, I need a plan B. And at, uh, I got a plan B. So I stamped it again. Um, and again with um, Rosamark. And then I took Wow Embossing Powder in uh, gold. Golden. And this um, is what I love really, really much. As you can see now how it's um, melting and it looks so gorgeous, I think. Now I need um, these sentiments. In former years I just printed it out and um, cut it is, cut it it. But this year I wanted to um, stamp it. And don't be worried, I do not show you uh, how I stamped all these eights <laughs> and sentiments and how I cut it. Um, I made it a little bit shorter for you, but as you can see, I um, stamped it more than eight times and cut it down. Cut it, it sounds so, so curious. So, and now I need my plan B for these um, invisible chevrons. And I took this cross ink, of course. Um, it's maybe I um, pronounce, this, pronounce it wrong. It's Gather with Twix. I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> and now the chevrons um, are not so invisible. And I'm very happy with this result. So now everybody um, can take place on the stars. I love this uh, um, stadium so much. When you have did all what you have to did and now you can um, put it together, that's it's the best part of crafting, I think. The sentiment um, with the foxes I put next to the foxes, foxes, and on the snowman stars I wanted to have it um, under the foxes, under the snowman. Oh God, sorry. <laughs> then I took my um, double tape foam tape, and as you can see, put all together, and that makes so much fun. Yes, eight of these bags are a lot, and believe me, I have to do. Um, a lot of more for this because I have so many cookies um, but it didn't take such a long time because I always do the same and um, do not have to think between uh, the steps <laughs> so now the stars are ready and now comes really the best time look at this I put it around this I do not the English word for doing this tucker in German I use the tucker and tucker it around and look at this. I'm so happy with these um, cookie bags. I hope so much that you liked it also. Maybe you can show me your cookie bags. Or um, maybe I inspired you to do things like that. Um, let me show. Um, let me hear from you. Um, give me a thumb up on YouTube. I would be very happy. And um, so I wish you a very, very uh, warm Christmas time. Have some wonderful days and um, we see us um, somewhere. Bye bye.